I'm talking to Doug, who's with Nature's Path, um, our major sponsor with the uh, Guelph Organics Conference here. Uh, Doug, tell me about some of the important trends that we need to know about in the organic movement. Uh, well, for us, the most important uh, thing that's going on right now is we're talking to our consumers about the importance of avoiding GMOs, genetically modified organisms. And so uh, we've got a, a brochure that we've made with a, a lot of information that we're giving to people uh, so that we can, uh, you know, just basically share information and let people know what the issue is uh, and what's going on. So what, what people don't know is that, you know, a large portion of what you eat if you're buying processed foods at the grocery store contains genetically modified organisms. And our products are non-GMO verified. That means we test all of our risk ingredients to make sure there's no GMOs in our products. And they're certified organic, of course. So, yeah. And why is that so important for people to know? Uh, well, a lot of people have concerns about this new science, which is not tested, because uh, our government has decided that it's uh, substantially equivalent that is the same as, uh, as food, you know, as we know, food, food uh, traditional. And we believe that that's not necessarily true. And there might be risks with this science that have just not been discovered yet. So, you know, the, the fact that we don't know yet and hasn't been tested is enough to be concerned for us. Yeah, I noticed downstairs there was a lady, actually a girl, um, you know, underage, uh, talking about, you know, has a sign saying, I'm not a science experiment. She's, right. she's a good advocate of you, and you, I think you took her under her wings to support that. Tell me about it. We, yes, we're very excited when we find young people like this that are, you know, start to understand this issue and have a concern about it and you know, to talk about, talk about the issues and what's going on. And so uh, we believe that this science has some real drawbacks. For instance, uh, it causes super weeds, you know, uh, resistance in weeds because you use too many, too many chemicals on the fields and what happens is weed resistance happens. Uh, the health studies that have been done have shown that there are concerns. Uh, rat studies have been done with that show that the size of the organs change, uh, fertility is affected, and so on. So, you know, with all these indicators that there might be some issues that we need to look deeper into, we think that it's not the uh, kind of technology that should be in our food. So, in California, we supported the mandatory labeling campaign, and we supported it with a lot of time and a lot of money to, uh, to, to have Californians vote for mandatory labeling. And 30, uh, no, 49 percent of Californians voted for the labeling uh, ballot. But of course, it didn't pass. But it's a significant step forward in terms of bringing the, the understanding of the issues to the public. Okay. So, for more information to understand this better, uh, website recommended would be yours, perhaps, or uh, we have a lot of information on our website about GMOs, and we have a lot of links on there for other websites that you can go to. And the non-GMO project, uh, this non-GMO project. Org has probably the most thorough uh, information on the, on the topic. But you can find all products, not just ours, that are verified by the Non-GMO Project on that site. Good. And your website is www.naturespath.com. Thank you. Yep.